piece of you are. Mr. Merchant, uh, don't speak that way in court. We're in Monroe, Michigan for a child custody hearing. The plaintiff, Tyler Zonka, has a five-year-old son with Kaylee DeMerchant, who's facing two drug charges in another county. Zonka was recently awarded full custody, and today his attorney, Derek Jacques, has asked Judge Mark Bronlich to continue that order and limit DeMerchant's visitation rights. But the judge has decided to adjourn the proceeding until DeMerchant consults with an attorney. Also on the call is mediator Joshua Walker. Miss uh, Merchant, do you have any objection to the court adjourn this so you can talk to an attorney? No, sir. Okay. Mr. Jocks, anything else you want to add? We would like to bring the court's attention is that during the uh, Zoom meeting with Mr. Walker, that Mr. Merchant felt it appropriate to give us the middle finger and her background picture on her Zoom when her camera's turned off has the words, you have my permission to die on it, which we did not think. What was are you talking about? I did not say that. Okay, well, let's hear me wrap her. I did not Back say that, message. no. What are you guys talking about? That is hearsay. Thank you. All right. Well, if it's on your background, you probably want to remove that. I did not. Pictured. No, you can, re right. you can review it, Mr. Judge. The judge moves on to the merchant's visitation rights. What about the FaceTime between mom and in the intro? Any objection to that, Mr. Jocks? You are really something, huh? You First think I'm going to say Mr. that Merchant. in the court of law? Mr. Excuse Merchant, me? Mr. Merchant, the court is trying to inquire. Maybe we could do some FaceTime between you and your son in the meantime. Yeah, that's wonderful. Are you, are you, are you being cynical or are you being serious? I'm being emotional, Your Honor. I apologize. Okay. Mr. Jocks, any, uh, any reason why we cannot set up a couple of the, maybe two days a week for mom to uh, facilitate, initiate a phone call to Mr. Zonka doesn't have a problem with our only concern would be about the PPO. There's a PPO? Zonka has filed a PPO or personal protection order against a merchant, which prevents her from physically seeing her ex. Excuse me, Tyler put a PPO against me. Hold on, hold on. This is a PPO permit contact between you and uh, Mr. Merchant. I believe it permits contact only. Uh, wow! Wow, are you a We're going to mute you, ma'am. You're interrupting the court proceedings. After a brief pause, Judge Bronlich attempts to return the conversation to the proposed video calls between DeMerchant and her son. OK, um, we can uh, unmute Mr. Merchant. Mr. Merchant, uh, the court would like there to be some face contact. Uh, the court suggesting Tuesdays and Thursdays at six o'clock. Yeah, so I can see him on video. Yes. Because Tyler has a PPO. What does the PPO entail, please, sir? I missed. I don't that. have that in front of me. There's another judge entered that. Uh, oh, the, okay. Uh, and, what, and like, what is it pertaining to? Please tell me. One of you guys, your attorney or Tyler, yeah. that would be great. Uh, you probably serve that. You can always come down to the county courthouse, get a copy of that from the clerk's office. Another judge entered well, that. I, I want to know what it entails. I not until now, but the court's going to include I wasn't aware of it either, sir. He dumped on me. I also want it stricken from the record that I said, I hope he dies. Do I don't even know what that is. Do you want to contact or not, Mr. Merchant? I'm trying to accommodate some relationship between mother and child. Do you want FaceTime with or not? Yeah, that's wonderful. All right. All right, so you initiate it at 6 o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so you can call 6 o'clock tonight uh, to, to Tyler's phone number, and he'll uh, put it in front of you so you can talk with you for a short time. Obviously, a five-year-old's not going to talk real long. How long am I allocated a phone call with my child? Well, keep be reasonable. I mean, obviously, if he's bored, you know, probably five minutes. I mean, the five-year-olds are not going to talk a long period of time, so try to engage him as long as they want. There is no time limit, ma'am. There's no time limit. Be a, a reasonable, sensible That's adult what? parent. Judge Bronlich adjourns the case until DeMerchant can consult with an attorney. Back at August 1st at 1.30. Hopefully we can um, address some printing time at that time. What a piece of That'll conclude this matter. We can zoom out. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. What a piece of you are. Mr. Merchant, uh, don't speak that way in court. He knows what he is.
to Merchant was a no-show at the August 1st hearing, so Zonka retained full custody of their son, though she still allowed video visitations, which she's been attending regularly. The case is now closed, but the Merchant can request a review in the future. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.